a violent brawl all over an iPad. A man trying to sell his tablet gets robbed at gunpoint instead, but he says there's a good reason he tried to hold on to the iPad. And a peanut butter burger? Hmm, when you'll be able to try this new creation. Hello, everyone. You're watching The Rundown. I'm Robin Winston. More on those stories coming up in a moment. But first, it's flu season. But doctors are worried about how fast cases are rising. The CDC says much of the country is now experiencing high to very high levels of the virus. Some doctors say this flu could be as bad as a 2009 flu pandemic. That's something I worry about because no one knows where the peak is going to be. We know where the peak was and the duration was in past outbreaks of flu, but this current one, it's only people's best guess as to where it'll peak. Once a hospital gets strained by the more severely ill patients and more numbers of those patients, quality and processes in hospitals can start falling apart and that can impact patient outcomes. CDC data shows that less than half of adults and children have gotten the flu vaccine this season. Big waves are slamming Southern California beaches and piers. Beachgoers are being told to watch out for dangerous rip currents. In Ventura County, we can see waves up to 10 feet, and in L.A. County, up to 6 feet. Mountain High was packed Wednesday with skiers and snowboarders. Ah, that looks so fun. Our latest storm brought around two to three inches of new snow there. Officials at the resort say they're expecting more snow this weekend. So if you plan on heading up, make sure you bring your chains just in case you need it. That's what I want to do. I want to go snowboarding or something. All right, we were taking a live look outside from Big Bear. A beautiful shot here. The weekend right around the corner. So let's check in with meteorologist Belen De Leon to see what's in store. The gusty conditions will continue in our forecast through the end of the week for the L.A. Ventura County Mountains, the San Fernando Valley, and even the L.A. County coastline. Winds that are reaching speeds from 40 to 60 miles per hour could cause more tree damage, power outages, and difficult driving. The reason for the strong winds were on the backside of that system that brought us rain and snow during the middle of the week. Now, as we head into the weekend, temperatures are expected to warm just a few degrees. We'll have high pressure setting up over the ocean. Now, don't get used to that little warm up because by Sunday we'll have another storm system that drops into the four corners that will bring us a slight chance for rain and look at what it does to the temperatures. Temperatures through Saturday will be in the low to mid 60s, but on Sunday because of that storm system, we're going to have some colder weather, highs only in the 50s. A couple in Pomona was attacked by two teens while attempting to sell their iPad through an online marketplace. The ambush was caught on camera. Eduardo Reyes agreed to meet the buyer a few days before Christmas, but the sale turned into a fight for his life when two teens showed up and tried to grab the iPad instead. The cameras on Reyes' Tesla captured the attack from multiple angles. Reyes fought back and he says he only held on to the tablet to keep the boy's attention away from his wife. When I grabbed the iPad and I turned around, one of them had a gun pointed at me. I don't know if this gun is real or not. Um, I don't know what's going to happen next. Well, one of the teens hit Reyes on the head several times with the gun and both ran off with the iPad. Officers eventually arrested them but did not recover the tablet. Pomona police remind everyone to pick a safe, well-lit place at a busy time of the day for any online sale and never go alone. You can also check out safetradespots.com for a list of suggested meeting spots that are all under police surveillance. A pretty wild scene in a Las Vegas courtroom. A judge was attacked while she was handing down a sentence. Hey. Oh, 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 hey. Oh, oh, hey. The defendant swore at the judge before jumping over the bench and attacking her. He was held by a security marshal and court clerk. The man was set to be sentenced for a charge of attempted battery. Prosecutors say he has a history of violent crimes. The judge suffered a head injury, but is expected to be okay and recover. People can once again walk across the U.S. border at San Ysidro. That port of entry reopened along with three others in Texas and Arizona. Those ports were closed for much of December so staff could respond to a surge of migrants. A record setting 300,000 crossed the border last month. The numbers dropped in recent days, but it appears the surge is not over. A caravan of thousands of migrants is in Mexico now heading toward the U.S. border. 
In Ventura County, there's been an uptick in QR code fraud. So QR codes have become more widely used since the pandemic for contactless transactions and information sharing. Well, now scammers are putting fake QR code stickers over the real ones. And once people mistakenly scan those fraudulent QR codes, they are sent to fake websites where criminals can steal their money. So to avoid becoming a victim, be sure to check the website first before clicking on the link and also make sure the link matches the business. That's very important. Well, many of us hire workers to trim trees and clear away brush, but the I-Team has a warning before you hire anyone. There are rules they are supposed to follow by law, and the state says many of them do not, which could cost you thousands of dollars. Here's Carolyn Johnson. With more winter rain on the way in the weeks and months ahead, it's a reminder for the Klusman family of South Pasadena. This big tree on their tenant's property needs to come down. We were afraid that it would lift up, the ground would be soaked, and it would lift up in a timber right on the back bedroom. So when a contractor showed up at the Klusman's front door soliciting work, his timing was perfect. I thought he was a godsend because we needed these things done. The Klusmans hired him. He was doing business as El Chipo Tree Service, also known as the Weed Man. The family paid him two grand up front to take down the tree, but they say he only removed some branches and then disappeared. I did not do my due diligence. I really didn't. I was. I just trusted him. According to the contractor's state license board, El Chipo, or the Weed Man, isn't licensed. And by law, anyone doing tree work on your property that costs more than $500 needs to be. But the state says many are not licensed. It's important to hire someone who's licensed so you have that assurance that if something goes wrong, you'll have recourse. If you hire an unlicensed contractor, you can still file a complaint with us. But the process of you getting any, any money back, any anything from that contractor is very limited. By law, contractors are also limited to how much money they can collect up front, $1,000 or 10% of the cost of the project, whichever is less. After that, you and the contractor should hammer out a payment plan. You want to make sure you're putting down the correct uh, down payment so that you don't get scammed and so that you are still ensuring that the project gets done. Once you pay that initial $1,000, you're only going to supposed to be paying for what work has been done or what the supplies have been delivered. The Klusmans say the contractor gave them excuses every time they asked him to finish the job or refund their money. The I-Team also reached out to the contractor, and we got a lot of excuses, too. He said he was out of town and would finish the job when he got back. He didn't. He later said he would give the Klusmans a cash refund. He didn't do that either. Finally, he sent the Klusmans a check. The check bounced. We're aware that we're not getting a penny of this money back. Now they're determined to take it up in small claims court. They hope others learn from their costly mistakes. We can afford it, but maybe somebody, an older lady, um, older than I, uh, can uh, have a tree in her front yard and they'll scam her too. And then she, that will make a difference between her eating and not. And that's what makes me mad. That was Carolyn Johnson reporting a contractor's advertising, even a business card, should contain a license number. So if it's missing, that's a red flag, and it's easy to check a contractor's license. We'll show you how to do just that on our website, NBCLA.com. A sewage spill caused portions of the ocean and Long Beach to close. The city's health officer says about 15,000 gallons of sewage spilled into Rubio Wash, which connects to the L.A. River. It was caused by a grease blockage in San Gabriel. Authorities say Despite the spill being a distance, it will eventually make its way near Belmont Shore. State law requires these closures out of caution until water meets safety requirements. The city's water department is monitoring the situation. It's the end of an era. Sweet Lady Jane Bakery, famous for its triple berry cake, has suddenly closed all of its Southern California locations. After 35 years in business, the company announced on social media the closure of its six shops. Sweet Lady Jane says lease obligations and paying a living wage made it difficult to stay open without passing along the cost to customers. The bakery was a favorite among celebrities like Taylor Swift and the Kardashians. 
You can now get your Starbucks in your own cup. How does that sound? Just bring that cup in and they'll fill it up with your drink. You still have to pay though, but you do get a discount and bonus rewards. The move is part of the company's bid to reduce cup waste in our landfill. I say we need a rundown cup. We gotta work on that. A cup that says the rundown. Artificial intelligence is taking over smartphones. Samsung will reveal its new AI powered devices at an event in January, January 17th. The latest Galaxy phone technology allows apps like ChatGPT to run without internet. The new models also have AI generated features like video, photo, and text editing. Samsung is Apple's largest smartphone competitor, and some industry experts believe this new feature could help close the gap. We shall see. Britney Spears fans hoping for new music are likely to be disappointed. The singer has announced she will never return to the music industry. Spears shut down rumors online that she's working on a new album. It was a response to reports that she could be working on a new record. Spears added that when she does write music, it's now for other people. All right, my friends, if you're looking for love in 2024, you are not alone. This Sunday is known as Dating Sunday. Tinder's senior vice president of global marketing tells Adweek it's the app's biggest day of the year. Based on last year's numbers, the publication reports the number of messages on Tinder surges about 22% on the first Sunday in January. The number of likes increases by 18%. And the website also tells the New York Post close to 2,300 photos are expected to be added to profiles every minute. So happy swiping. Good luck. Okay, you're swiping left or right on this. Check this out. We're all familiar with the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right? But what about a peanut butter cheeseburger? Sonic is rolling out a bacon cheeseburger with a creamy peanut butter spread. The fast food chain says if the flavors sound a little too weird for you, don't knock until you try it. And if you're not into the idea, well, Sonic is also offering a peanut butter bacon cheeseburger shake. That sounds kind of tasty. This new menu item will only be available from Monday through February 4th. We shall see. I'm down to try it. You can always get news and weather updates on the NBCLA app and our website, NBCLA.com. And be sure to tune into Today in LA on NBC4 weekdays, 4 to 7 a.m. I'll be helping you get around with traffic reports throughout the morning. I'll see you next time on The Rundown.